Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Follow the Dragonflies. Today we're going to find out what makes you irresistibly attractive. We have Pile 1, the Devil, Pile 2, the Moth, and Pile 3, the Ghost. If you would like to pause the video now, make your selection and you'll find the timestamps in the description box down below. Hi Pile 1, welcome to your reading if you chose the Devil card. Let's find out what makes you irresistibly attractive. Well, first of all, have you noticed, the Devil card came out again, so off the bat you are super seductive people are obsessed with you pile one they cannot get enough of you they i feel like you'll meet someone and then straight away you'll they will have you in the head all day you are probably very intimidating and people just cannot get enough of you um it wouldn't surprise me if you have a lot of stalkers on your social media people are always going to be checking up on you um you have got Page of Wands. Page of Wands is all about exploration, excitement, freedom. So you, this with the Nine of Wands, you go after what you want, Power One. You have this big dick energy and the Boss Bitch card also came out. So if you don't have your own business, um, you are high up in whatever you do. With this Money Troubles card, um, I don't, I don't feel like you have any money troubles. You're like, I am never going to suffer. I'm going to go after what I want. You're a real go-getter. Um, you are independent. You will study. You'll learn. If there's something you don't know, or if there's something you want to learn, you will throw yourself into it. You'll do the research. Like, Google is free. <laughs> you know that. Um, but what's funny is, even though this, like... Um, super seductive sexy mysterious person at the same time you have this other side of you that is super loving and super caring we have the milk thistle peaceful warrior from my new oracle deck what's it called the herbal astrology oracle and it's absolutely beautiful and this card let me just Read it from the book. Let me double check. This card means strength, essence of creation, connecting to the creatrix within, fertility, birth, creativity, and inner trust. So even though you've got this like absolutely fearless go getter, I'm gonna get shit done. Um, you could you could literally rule the world. You're still super loving. Ooh, and with the rose card over here if i can <laughs> if i can pick it up the rose means love but this card also symbolizes lust which i think sums your reading up perfectly people lust over you pile one and then they have such like this sexual charged energy towards you that they probably think they're in love with you to be honest um, even though you've got this, um, like, boss bitch, don't fuck with me energy, you're also very thoughtful, you're very loving, and um, we have the do you need a hug card as well, so I feel like if you see someone in distress and in need, you will care about them, um, you'll probably pull them to a side and be like, what's going on, are you okay, you know what I mean? even though you're like this leader you will take care of people you have this unconditional love and when i pulled this card i had the song um love the way you like <laughs> eminem and rihanna rihanna's a good example of this actually because she she is like super sexy isn't she we all know this and yet she has got like She's got a lot of love, especially self-love. Um, and she impacts that on other people. Yep, so next we have... What have we got next? The balls in your car. People that are attracted to you are so intimidated that they're scared to make the first move. <laughs> I have this feeling that you're like, you're really mysterious with the secrets card. Um, people... 
yeah, they just, they don't want to say the wrong thing with you. They don't want you to tell them off. Because I think that this, like, this warm, loving side that you have to you, it's only the people that you hold closest or you deem worthy that get to see it. Um, you, you have barriers up, but it's literally, it's for protection. Um, I just feel like you absolutely, you just hate drama. You're like, don't step to me. You know, um, you will stick up for yourself. You'll put people in the place. You're not scared of that. Um, no one can really step to you. Um, and if they try, you you will just put them in the place straight away. But you'd rather avoid that. We also have, I talk about you to my friends and I hate when we don't talk. So again, with this, like the balls in your court card, people talk about you a lot to their friends and they miss you but you're so busy like going after what you want and loving yourself and fighting for this life that you know you deserve that people are like oh no what if they don't give me the time of day <laughs> this mystery to you and this go get her energy and this like secretly super loving kind compassionate caring side of you is what makes you irresistibly attractive, power one. We also have the heart chakra. And the, I think it's, I love this one. So love, again, with the love card. Double confirmation. Yeah, you are very balanced. You do have this unconditional love within you, which is why you're probably um, super protective of your space and of your energy. Oh yeah, and with this, um, the milk, this little card, this is all about setting boundaries as well. Look how, how cute is this? The imagery on this artwork is just, oh, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. I feel like you probably appreciate the finer things in life. Um, you've got a really good sense of style. People may miss, um, misjudge you when they first meet you because you have this um really intimidating energy and you've you know you know how to dress well they probably don't expect you to be as knowledgeable as you are you're a real surprise to people when um when you finally actually deem them worthy and let them close i'm wondering with this devil card as well if you're into a little bit of bdsm I should have really done my research so I could talk more about um, kinks and stuff. <laughs> but for now, this is just going to be um, a personal light reading. So, What makes you irresistibly attractive, power one? The, so these sexual patterns that you have, I feel like you set really good boundaries with them. And because you are so mysterious, whenever you real, real, whenever you reveal like the slightest bit of this like warm, compassionate side to you. It just absolutely makes the other person fall in love with you. They're like, holy shit, you are, how are you so sexy? And yet you've got this incredible brain, um, this amazing heart. And I feel like it makes people feel honored. So you're like, for the same reason that they say, um, why do women always go after the, like the bad boy? And it's because they want to be the one to tame them. That's the vibe that I get from people who try and pursue you. They're not going to be able to. <laughs> You're very strong in yourself. We've got this, um, when you break away, self-doubt magic happens. So you are very self-assured. But, <laughs> yeah, people would love to try and, like, tame you, but that's not happen it's not gonna happen you're the boss you're the one in charge so we have the um excuse me if i'm not pronouncing this properly ashwagandha card 54 which means purpose i just had a look straight from the book 
When you're living in alignment with your dharma, there is no separation between your inner and outer realities. It becomes a cohesive expression, therefore granting a feelingness of wholeness and completion. Stay focused and playful. Keep following the signs. So, and as well, we've got the, the moon and the sun, which are like opposite energies. Um, the masculine and feminine. I feel like you're super balanced. Yeah, um, you do trust yourself. You, I feel like you know where you're going. You might not have like a completely set desired outcome, but you're just making moves. You're like, I'll figure it out once I get there. Like, here, this is my plan. I know where I want to be, and then we'll see what happens from there. So the Pela Santa card, um, in essence. From the book, Pela Santa is here to remind you to activate your dormant gifts. You are the guardian of safe you are the guardian of the sacred that has walked many paths. Know that you can neutralize the greatest of poisons and even outwit the smartest of tricksters. So again, it goes back to this like no one no one can tell you shit. <laughs> you are too self-secured in yourself. This is so attractive. Like oh look how beautiful the card is. Um, yeah, no one can pull the wool over your eyes. You can't be fooled. You're, you are just a powerhouse. And at the same time, there is that side of you that if you are lucky enough, people will get to see. And I bet people just line up like, please, <laughs> just let me love you, pile on. You probably ain't got time for that though. Accelerated motion. Yeah, you're not afraid to go after what you want. What makes you attractive? You're a go-getter. You are sexy as fuck. You live rent-free in people's heads. People are probably obsessed with you. They can't get enough of you. And you've just got this big dick energy. While being a secret absolute sweetheart. So, Paul, well, that is your reading for today. Thank you for coming. I'll see you in. Oh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. too. If you chose the moth card, welcome to your reading. What makes you irresistibly attractive? Well, Paul, too, it's clear to see that you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. What makes you attractive is that people have seen you go through this revival. You've overcome so much. You have literally glowed up. I bet people from your past that see you now are like, shit, have you seen Pile 2? They are on it. Like, people probably didn't expect this. <laughs> Where did this come from? But yet, you have thrived. I bet your skin's looking better. Your hair's looking better. Your style's on point. If, if you haven't done, like, a complete renovation. Like, you've gone through so much shit. And you've just evolved and grown from it so much. And yet, because of everything you've been through, you'd think that, um, you know, it probably would have, to a lot of people, it would have got them down. But you, with the six of pentacles, you are still so generous. You would give the clothes off your back to somebody that needed it. Um, you're there for everybody. I feel like you're a bit of a therapist to your friends. Like, you're the first person that they come to. Sorry if you can hear my doggy in the background. What made me laugh was we had the money card come out. So I was like, okay, okay, boss energy. But then money troubles. And I was like, hmm, oh, interesting. So I get this feeling that because you are, like, so generous, you're the type of person that'd be like, if I win the lottery, I'm going to give this much to my grandma and this much to my mother and this much to my best friend and... Like, you always put other people first all of the bloody time. Um, people can rely on you. They know that if there's something wrong, you're going to be the shielder for them to cry on. Um, yes, we do have the thoughtful card that's come on as well. Like, I feel like you give really good gifts, like, at Christmas. And it's not about the money. It's, like, the thought that you put in for other people is just... I won't be surprised if people cry a lot when you give them things just because it's so considerate and like you might um actually make a lot of gifts for people and um, say someone's moved into a new house and you're like hey i've made you this art i've made you 
this sculpture. I've got you some candles. I feel like you make um a lot of things just because you understand what vibe people go for and because you are such a homebody yourself, you're like, I want to make something that's going to make their space just feel like home. Um, you are so understanding and really patient with people. We have the please be patient with me card. Um, I need therapy and I don't know how to express my feelings. And I feel like you really take the time to let people just vent to you. Um, yeah, you've got so much compassion. And you are super, super loving. With the Eight of Wands, I have the feeling that you're someone that's like always on the go. Like your brain is like a pinball machine where it's like ding, 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 ding. You are absolutely full to the brim of ideas. Um, what is irresistibly attractive about you is people never know what they're going to get. Like they watch you like what is Pile 2 going to do next? Um, you could probably have your own show, <laughs> um, especially with this like seven of um, swords card. I get the feeling you are, you are funny. You've got this quick wit. Um, you might have like this sarcasm. Um, you might be a little bit of a prankster. But yeah, I just get this like, this fiery energy from you. There is no stopping you, pal, too. And it goes to show, like, with this revival, what you've been through, like, you have been... You've been through it. You did the inner work. Um, You've healed yourself. And through this, you want to show it to other people that, like, you can do it too. I bet you see people down and you're like, look, I know how you feel. Um... I totally understand. Take all the time you need. But this is what helped me. We have the stop blaming yourself for before. Stop blaming yourself for before you knew better. How do you need to feel loved? And be the person you needed when you were younger. And I feel like this is you. You are so emotionally intelligent that you know. Like every. Everybody has their own little special way of being, right? Different things that make them tick. And while I do feel like your way of showing that, you, <laughs> that your love language is acts of service and gifts, I feel like, you know, like, but how do you need to be loved? Like, you know that with each of your different friends and all your family and like romantic interests and stuff like that, you take the time to deeply get to know people um you are just you are really healing that's what makes you attractive like people just feel better when they're around you you have this like mother Teresa kind of vibe like you'll you'll give and you'll give and you'll give um you'll be there for people when they need it most but at the same time if somebody crosses you you know that you can forgive them and then not let them back in. And you might feel a little bit guilty about it, but because you've been through this like glow up and this resurrection, you know that some things are just not worth your peace. They're not worth your peace of mind. They're not worth your time. Um, and you, you just try and stay in this really positive energy that you've worked your ass off for. Uh, as well, down here, I know you can't see it on the camera, but we have the activist card come out. So, tied into all this, like, um, giving supportive energy, I feel like you will fight for what is right in this world. You're the kind of person that will stand up, stick up for those who need it. Um, you do have a lot of this mental energy, and I feel like you know how to explain things to people in a way for them to comprehend it. Um, to put it into words in a way that they'll understand and to help other people grow their own compassion. You don't take anything lying down. Like if there's something you want to change, you'll do it. You'll go after it. You're pretty fearless in your pursuit of um, 
just making the world a better place. You have this star quality. Like you really are just so radiant. That is super attractive, pal too. And you also have this all or nothing card. So I feel like you will go, you'll go, you'll go. Eight of Wands, um, rapid movement, instantaneous. You'll run steam ahead um, if it's worth it to you. If not, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> and people love that. They're like, wow, how are you? you are so passionate. But like, you could bounce from one thing to the next and not really think too much about it. I think a lot of people are jealous of this quality because a lot of people get stuck in that middle ground. Um, and I feel like you're someone that's like, I, life's too precious to waste it doing something that makes you fucking miserable. And that's very inspiring to people and very attractive. You have this practice being present card as well, which I don't know, it might actually be hard for you because you are always sit on the go and like, so like maybe distracted by help, helping other people all the time and your brain's like constantly pinging off one idea to the next. But then in the moments that matter, like say if you're around family or your friends, you will truly be there with them. You'll put your phone down, you'll have these deep conversations. People feel like they can really reveal like their inner selves to you. And I feel like they value you so much. Like no one can replace you. They really can't. Uh, and I don't know how to express my feelings. This, it just makes me feel like you know how to get to the root cause. I feel like you pick up on energy really easily. So some people, when they're upset, will just go super quiet. They won't know how to express how they're feeling. And you're just like, it's okay. Like, just, just start from the beginning because you have so much patience for people. You'll wait for them to be able to just... You'll work through it with them, if that makes sense. So from my new oracle deck, the Hebel Astrology, we have Blue Lotus and from the book, can you see it? It's absolutely gorgeous. It says, intuitive knowing, unearthing the subconscious, meeting the gardens of mystery, dream work and initiation. And also it's got the Ace of Cups there. You know, you've, you have just got this pure love. And... Um, the lotus flower grows through the mud, right? So it reminds me of this revival card, like pushing through tough times and they're like basking in the beauty of like all the hard work paying off. Like you see the magic in the world still and that is so attractive. Like how are you not hardened? How are you not miserable? How do you still have all this energy to like give to other people? You also have the Sage card. Can we see that? These cards are just, I just cannot get over how absolutely beautiful they are. So, the passage in the book says, Sage, like the moon card in the tarot, is the great portal to the river of life. The silver light of Sage grants us the power of insight while we navigate the darkest hours. The lunar powers of Sage remind us to look inward to receive visionary insight from spirit. Don't get overly consumed by the emotional interplay, allow it to pass like clouds. Draw upon the inner reserves of your psyche to navigate darkness and become keenly aware of what is causing inner disturbances, fear and unhappiness. The initiation you are undergoing, although unfamiliar, is a great blessing. Feel yourself cease and reassemble as you break illusions to unearth hidden truths. Surrender, don't stand in your own way. Allow the silvery white light of sage to shatter illusions as you undergo a great awakening. And this is just, it's absolutely perfect because you have gone through the spiritual awakening. You've gone through this glow up, this, like, you've completely rejuvenated your life. You've gone in and you've healed what you've needed to heal and you continue to still do that as well. And I think you know that, like, it's not a what one and done. Um, You trust this 
in a magic that they knew. And I think that that's really special. And like in the card, you know, where she's blowing it out up into the air, it feels like it, this is you like blowing it to the rest of the world. Like teaching other people what you've learned in the most loving, non-condescending way. And just your light and your compassion is so attractive. Irresistibly so. Alright, pile two. I think that's all for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Hi, pile three. If you picked Ghost, this is your reading and what makes you irresistibly attractive. Well, we have the Emperor, which is the daddy of the tower. <laughs> oh, you are an authority figure, pile three. You are the boss. You like to have the final say. You are firm, but you are fair. You are the leader. You're not afraid of conflict. I think you are super intimidating. We have to, you make me nervous. People are very like, <laughs> they might be very scared to like get on your bad side. <laughs> um, we also have the three of swords. So you are a heartbreaker. And I think that this three of swords ties in with the passive and I'm not sure card. So I feel like, pal three, you be breaking hearts. You know what you want. So when people come to you and they're like, hi, let me let me win over your love. You're like, nah. You're not convinced. Like it takes a lot of convincing to catch your eye. You, you were, you can't be swept off your feet. You're not, you're naive. Like you know what you want. You are in this position of authority. People need to prove if they are worthy of your time. Um, I don't think you're a dick. <laughs> but people are definitely intimidated by you. And that makes you, like, so attractive. They're like, ooh, how can I impress pile three? We also have the ten of pentacles. So stability, hard work. Again, I feel like you've, um, you really, you've progressed in your life, like, on your own. You've got your own things. You take care of yourself. You take care of, like, your family and those that you care about. You are on it. You are too on it to be messing with these energies that are immature. But at the same time, you are super humble. Um, I feel like when people point these things out to you, you just kind of, like, shrug <laughs> you are divinely protected pile free you have this all or nothing attitude like again i think it goes with this three of swords like if you're not completely invested then you're not that bothered and i don't know i feel like it you know you just really break some hearts <laughs> You are super honest, so I feel like as well, if something doesn't work out with someone, you'll tell them the truth. Um, you may not always sugarcoat things, you might be a little bit analytical, but you know, the truth hurts, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, th I feel like you've got this vibe where, well, wouldn't you rather know why it didn't work out than just me bullshit you? Like, you won't waste people's time. You are brutally honest. And some people are just not quite ready for that. <laughs> we also have the three of wands, which is all about looking ahead, expansion. And I feel like this is you because you, you are so focused on your own path, pal three, that you, you really, you just haven't got time for anything that's, like not in a line with what you are trying to achieve in this life. Part three, what makes you irresistibly attractive? You are one good looking Murpha. Yeah. I really, I just get this like, ooh, daddy. <laughs> And I hate it, I hate it, so I hate saying it, um, I just, uh, uh, uh. but yeah, you just, you're the daddy. <laughs> I 
So from my new deck, the Herbal Astrology Oracle, we have, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to butcher this, go to Curler, Higher Conscious, can you see how absolutely stunning that these cards are? In the book, it says, go to Curler, like the West, like the wise hermit, signals the achievement of great wisdom through solitude and trust. You are entering a period of deep inner contemplation. Looking for answers requires solitude and disconnection from the regular casualties of life. Go to Curler walks through the undiscovered paths of the subconscious mind with precision, guided by the light of the northern star. You are moving into a new and higher stage of being. If you are experiencing a sense of loneliness or alienation, you are perhaps living a reality where your own deep truths have been denied. This is a time for introspection, a time for rest, meditation and inner work. Your consciousness is undergoing transmutation. Invoke your higher consciousness every day and leap into the portal within. So yeah, you are power three, what makes you irresistibly attractive, like you are just on your own ship. You don't have time for drama or just things that you deem childish. Like you are, but this is a very grown up energy, super mature, all about looking towards the future. Um, going within to seek answers. I feel like when things go wrong as well, you don't blame other people. You just very like, well, what's next? What can we do about it? You don't sit and stew. Um, you, you know how to lead people. So we also have, I am 100% going to butcher this, I don't know already, so <laughs> have a laugh at my expense, it's fine. Physio, psych, <laughs> I've practiced saying this before I started the recording and I'm still helpless. Psilocybin, <laughs> you know, I've got, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but um, if anybody would like, would like to like say, you know, you pronounce it like this, you idiot. Um, in the book, Los Nina Santos has come to tell you that you have arrived to your place of power. Emperor card. They are beacons of light on the earth and of a physical healing on a collective level. Los Nina Santos are asking you to tune in and commune with the ancestors and powers that be to further develop your power, which you are super powerful. Silofibin <laughs> floods our body with light curds, loosening the knots we've volunteered to protect through the journey of life. Don't resist the profound teachings, relax into the higher mind as you commune with its loving awareness. As you find home within the commune with others and experiences that support you, connect to nature and extensive community of energies that are lovingly there, awaiting your conscious arrival. Commune with spirits and channel the wisdom provided with sure-footed spontaneity. Although I don't feel like you are someone that um, lets loose <laughs> a lot, I feel like you would be the leader of your tribe. You know the best direction to go in. Um, you're very wise. I feel like when, when people give you advice, you will... You will always listen, but you will attach yourself to the things that feel truly right to you with deep within your soul. Like you can see the ancestors in the tree. And yeah, it just feels like you, you have this wisdom of the others that you feel like connects to source, to life. A lot of different people have a lot of different views on how the world should be, of course. And you stick true to your beliefs. There's really no shake in the ground that you walk on. You just sit back, relax, go within, trust yourself. And this is so attractive to people. You just, you cannot be swayed. And I feel like the power that you hold there's so many people that look at you and wish that they had your balls in us, pile three. I feel like a lot of people come to you and just want to be taken care of because you are this like authority figure. Um, you know, you are mature, you know the right thing to do. So people come to you, um, maybe you have a lot of like damsel in distress 
kind of admire is. Um, they come to you and they, they want you to take care of them and you're just kind of like, hmm. <laughs> I just, I really just don't think you have time for anything that doesn't align with like your true self and you can smell bullshit from a mile away. I feel like if you're at a party or anything like that, you'll just stick to the background, observe, and when it's time, you'll just, you'll leave. You won't stay there and party just for the sake of it. Like, if you can't make these deep connections with people, then you could really take it or leave it. Um, let's have a look. What makes pile three irresistibly attractive? Adventurous. Ooh, in with the three of wands. Yeah, you're not afraid to go on an adventure. I think it's because you've got this inner knowing. Um, You're not afraid to take a, like a leap of faith, even though we don't have the full card. You're very methodical um, in your pursuits. So, like, you, you can recognise a good opportunity. You weigh up right, is this right for me? Do I see this as being something stable? And if it is, you're not afraid to go for it. Like, you're a risk taker when it's good odds, if that makes sense. Right. What makes Pile 3 irresistibly attractive? I feel like you're just super analytical. Um, you'll, you'll listen to your heart, but you will lead with your head. What makes Pile 3 irresistibly attractive? What makes Pile 3 irresistibly attractive? So we have, you inspire me. Yes, people want to know how to be a boss like you. Teacher. Yeah, because what's this mature energy that you've got? Um. I feel like you're very tough, love. You like get out of bed, um, make a list. What are you doing? What are you gonna do about it? Like, you do have this patience card, but I feel like there's a point where you'll be patient in the beginning, but then if the dirt get their act together, you'll kick them up up, up the butt a little bit. <laughs> um. Like, there's a time to be soft and, like, you understand things. Um, actually, I think it depends on who it is. For the people, like, in your family, I feel like you have a lot more patience. And you'll help them out a bit, like, um, like muttering under your breath, like, oh, for God's sake. But it's something that you will do for the people that you care about and the people that you already have this foundation with. You just get stuff done. This is very attractive. You're the man with the plan. Or woman. What makes Pile 3 irresistibly attractive, please, Spirit? What makes Pile 3 irresistibly? We have... I feel stuck and you made me want to be a better person. Yeah, so... I feel like a lot of people look up to you, um, especially people that are like, they just don't know what to do with themselves in their life. And they look at you and like, how can I be like pile three and just get shit done? How do I have the motivation? And it's the determination, I think, where you're like, even though I might not feel like it, I will do it. Like you'll push through things and people admire that and find it like so attractive. like. Even on your worst day, pal three, you won't give up. You've just got this inner drive and determination to rule the world, basically. <laughs> a lot of people are like, tell me how you do it. How do you do it? And you're just like, well, just just do it. That's probably your motto. You're just like, just do it. Don't think, just do. Right, that's all for today, pal three. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.